Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. I'm happy to make this video and report today that we need to drive uh, an integral part of the Lake Washington Loop is finally nice to ride again. It's basically been a six year process where there's been sort of a bicycle and pedestrian safety improvement project in this whole corridor and just all through that time uh, there was just all these different construction going on. i had done a video on this section before showing some of that off. But for now, uh, basically the main parts are complete and riding it uh, has been pretty good, which we're going to do a deep dive on, which because I'm going to be descending down the whole thing. I'm sure that there's probably still some leftover work they have to do to clear it all up. But in general, I'll just go over some of the main changes that they've made to this section, one of which is reducing the speed limit to 30 miles per hour, adding buffered bike lanes in both directions, and then some improvement in the sort of drainage, uh, bus stops, and things like that. And I think something to do with uh, a certain turn lane. But you'll get a very good look up ahead as we enter into the main part where there's a ton and ton of those improvements. Yeah, I remember there's so many of my years riding here in Seattle. This area's always been sort of dug up. But here we see there is a sort of buffered bike lane. It's not a protected one because it's not um, uh, blocked off there, but I think that's probably good for this particular direction because it is a descent. So, I mean, going down here, you're gonna pick up a decent amount of speed and that's why I decided to take the lane here, uh, probably uh, in the negative five-ish category. So just continuing there, but here, as we enter this next section, you'll start to see uh, some of those improvements. And that bump, yeah, was from some of the slopes on the drainage cover, so watch out for those. But yeah, you see some of these new islands, the green paint over there, and then up ahead, you'll also notice uh, some of the bus stop islands. I usually, when you're going pretty fast, would just continue to stick on the main road, but definitely if you're taking your time on the descent, like that is also a very, very safe option. <laughs> but you can see in general, I do not <laughs> descend all too quickly and I also wanted to capture more of the footage here and show you all what it's like. And then I, the, the sidewalk there, I think is also new. Uh, it might be a little wider than before. And on the left, uh, crucially going uphill in the southbound direction, uh, you will have the same buffered bike lane all the way up, which will be a nice welcome change. Also, yeah, uh, going by some of these uh, bus stop islands. So you can see just uh, how smooth relatively it is. You still need to watch out for all those covers in the middle, but compared to what it was like riding in this construction, uh, this is basically like bike heaven. So let me know your thoughts. This is probably going to impact a lot of you on your Lake Washington loop rides doing a classic North Lake loop. I'd say that really, yeah, it should be a good experience again, but watch out for these cars in the car lanes, those garbage cans that I also saw back over there. And uh, if you're going down this direction, but other than that, uh, roll over that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed that update. We're pick going on to this other new trail that I've done a video on before, onto uh, more hills in Kirkland. But yeah, uh, lots of updates to come this summer, hopefully. So uh, if you're new to the area, this is a great channel to find all those things out. So have a good one and uh, happy riding. See you in the next video.